Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. In this video on proofs, we will be discussing contraposition, which is a slightly less intuitive, but still very important way to prove things in math. Uh, the way contraposition works is that if you, if you want to prove P implies Q, this is equivalent to proving that not Q implies not P, where this symbol right here means not. Uh, so if you prove it this way, you are also proving this. Uh, so, to start, we're going to do a proof that was done previously, but do contraposition. And what we're going to show is that for uh, natural numbers A, B, and C, if A does not divide B, C, this means that A does not divide B. And so, proving this with contraposition, we want to show that if A divides B, that A will divide B times C, which is something we've proved before, but um, I'll prove it real quick anyways. So if A divides B, that means that B is some multiple of A where k is just an integer. And this means that b times c is equal to um, b, which is a times k, times c, which we can rearrange a little bit and show that this is just a multiple of a, since k times c will be an integer, which means, therefore, that A will divide B times C. And since we've shown that this is true, by contraposition, this is also true, and therefore we have a proof for this. Uh, and now we can do a slightly more complicated proof, which is pretty cool. <coughs> so, what we want to show that if we have a number 2 to the n minus 1 and it's prime, this implies that n is prime. And therefore, since we're using contraposition, we want to show that if n is not prime, this will mean that 2 to the n minus 1 is not prime. So we can start off by, since n is not prime, that means there are two numbers x and y, when multiplied together, equal n, where x and y are integers, and x and y do not equal 1. Therefore, if we have 2 to the n minus 1, this is equal to 2 to the x times y minus 1, which means we can factor this um, slightly non-intuitively, but we can say that this is equal to 2 to the x minus 1, times times this big polynomial, which has um, y many terms, since you start off with x times y minus 1 in the exponent, and then you do y minus 2, y minus 3, all the way down to uh, 2 to the x and then plus 1. Um, and if this doesn't seem uh, like it would work if you start multiplying them out, which uh, I encourage you to do. You should see that all of these middle terms will cancel and you'll be left with um, 2 to the power of x times y and then a negative 1 at the end. Uh, so, now that we have these two terms, um, it suffices to say that this will obviously be an integer since 2 to the x is an integer um, and you're just subtracting 1. 
and all these will be integers, and the product of integers is integers. So therefore, we factor this into two integers, which are not equal to 1. And um, therefore, we've shown that 2 to the n minus 1 is not prime, which is what we want to show here. And since it's contraposition, we've therefore shown that 2 to the n minus 1 is prime implies that n is prime. Uh, and that is this video on contraposition. If you would like to see more videos on mathematical proofs, you can click right there. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click here. If you want to go to the centerofmath.org, you can click right there. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top left-hand corner of the screen, top right-hand corner of the screen, uh, with all of these same links. Thank you very much.